you were young and your friends were having bridal showers and baby showers. That was after college. Well, I'm at the age my friends are having hip replacements, yeah. knee replacements. Please help me. So I realized too that when I look in the mirror, I don't just resemble my mother anymore. It's my grandmother. <laughs> and I'm at the age when a lot of my friends are grandparents. And you know, I, I remember when you're young, you know, you dream of having an affair with a rock star and a movie star. Now it's fantasizing about an affair with a chiropractor, a masseuse, a plastic oh surgeon. It would be great. But I really miss my grandmother. She was a really special character. She did not believe in divorce. She just outlived her husband. It's true. Uh, 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 uh. But you know, I remember when I um, would visit her, and I would sleep over in her apartment in Brooklyn, I always wondered why she looked so different at night. Because at nighttime, the hair was different, a lot of it came off, and the girdle was off, and then the ace bandage to the varicose veins came off, and then, and definitely the makeup came off, and then the teeth were in glass. And I noticed she, she looked a lot different, but she was still the same lovable grandmother. And she loved to play cards. She would play cards with me when I would visit, and she would play cards at the Brighton Beach Club. If you've ever seen any Neil Simon movies, it's very characteristic. She would go and play with her friends there in the Brighton Beach Club. And I remember, and also, did you ever experience grandma saliva when you get a stain on your cheek? It's pretty icky. I remember like I would like eat ice cream at the Brighton Beach Club and then I would get a stain or get sticky and then she would take her white handkerchief and you know lick it like, oh grandma, please, oh it smells, oh please, I'm just fixing this, oh, oh it was awful. But I remember changing my bathing suit in a locker room for the first time with eight 80 year old women and it was horrifying. I was so terrified. Of how did that happen? I don't look like that. It was really scary, and I wondered about that because to me, the age of 11 was very old. I was five at the time, and 11 was ancient, and 80 wasn't even thought about. And it was, it was odd. I mean, that people could, things could happen like that. It's like if you took tennis balls and a big sock. A lot of tennis balls in a loose sock, and it was, it was very frightening, and it was traumatic, but I got over it. Anyway, so it was a big deal when my grandmother would see someone very, very big. She thought they were healthy. She came from Europe, and I had a cousin, Dale. He was about 400 pounds, and she would say, oh, he's so healthy. To grandma, he looks like Buddha. His earlobes are down to the floor. Now he's healthy, because everybody was starving where she came from. Well, it was a very exciting day. I remember when we were going to go to Radio City Music Hall. We got ready. My brother, my grandmother, and I were going to go to see the Rockettes. Now, the Rockettes were pretty amazing. I don't know if everyone's heard of them. They're about, well, I'll tell you, to a child of about five or six year old, they were about nine feet tall, and they had one leg that just went right up to their to the neck, one thigh, just, and, and they could kick higher than the Empire State Building. These were amazing women that could do shows and, and look like that because no one I knew in my family was built like that. They were probably not human, like like Barbie dolls in, in real life who had personalities and they would make a living dancing. Well, anyway, we were going to go and see the Rockettes in some other show at Radio City Music Hall. So my brother and I, my grandmother, were getting all excited and we're going on to downstairs and we take the, the steps to go all the blocks down to the subway and we go to the subway and we're all excited we put in the uh, token then it was like a dime now it's probably thousand dollars but anyway so we went there we're going on the and my grandmother gave me a piece of bazooka bubble gum they had comics in the bubble gums and they were a penny at the time we were talking more than 50 years ago it was very exciting and I saw a joke there because I could read at the time and it said I told you a million times not to exaggerate. And I thought, oh, is that supposed to be funny? I didn't understand that till English class later on. You know? But I thought, okay, but my grandmother did give me my first joke at the time. This is my, my highlight of my joke at six years old. Little Miss Muffet sat in her tuffet, eating her bagels and locks. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and said, where's the cream cheese? <laughs> I it was hysterical at six years old, my first big show. Yeah, so that was 
that humor. So we go down the subway and we're driving and I heard somebody talk about happy hour on the subway. I thought, happy hour? That's strange because happy hour to me means liquid supplements for women over 50. That's my happy hour. But anyway, so we go on the subway, we're going and we almost are at Radio City Music along all of a sudden my grandmother says, oh, I think I left the gas on. I went, no. We couldn't just go over the Rockettes. We had to go back oh. to the other thing, all the way back to Brooklyn, back to her apartment. We get in the apartment. I didn't want to miss the show. And she goes, oh, I didn't leave the gas on. Like, oh. So we go back on the subway, all the way. We make it to Manhattan. We see the Rockettes who are built like, you know, Barbie dolls on the Empire State Building. It was amazing. And we had a great time. All the blue haired ladies and the excitement. And then I realized, I am now living a far cry away from my childhood in Brooklyn. I'm living in a small rural town in Palmer, Alaska, and I, I purchased a lovely home a few years ago. It's older, and, and it has a gas stove in it. Oh, wait, I, I think I left the gas on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. At my age, um, I think it's something I ate. <laughs> Thank you.